Welcome to the Justice Group Ritual. First, I'm going to make my Justice Herbal Blend and I'm going to show you how I do that. First, I will be adding fennel seed. So a little bit of fennel seed. Next, I will be adding some whole cloves. So whole cloves, fennel seed. Next is basil. So adding some basil leaves. And I will be adding lodestone. This is like magnetic powder. So adding some lodestone in there. So next I will be adding organic tarragon herb, licorice root, jasmine buds, lavender. So adding some lavender. Cinnamon powder. You can use cinnamon powder, cinnamon sticks. I'm also going to be adding some loose sage leaves. So just going to tap in some sage leaves as well. Chamomile. You can get chamomile from your tea section. Peppermint, which you can also get peppermint herb from your tea section as well. So that's what I'm using. I use peppermint tea bags and chamomile tea bags anytime I need that type of herb for my witchcraft. Also be adding some calendula flower. This is just dried up calendula. And I'm also going to add some frankincense. So adding some little frankincense resin in here as well. I'm also going to add some double shoestrings for this spell. You can also use double shoestrings for protection. Um, you can use it for a few different things. So I will be using this for the spell work as well. They just kind of look like twigs. <laughs> so this is double shoestring. I'm just going to be placing some double shoestrings on each tray. Here is another one. Sorry, the nails are looking rough. We've been really busy with work over here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be adding these to the tray. So if you see the little twigs on the tray or little twiggy looking things, that's the double shoestring. So I'm just going to grind up all of my ingredients. This is the ingredients that I have on me that is good for justice, getting justice in any type of situation. This could also be good for justice in the courtroom, um, justice with a legal situation as well, or just justice in any type of situation that you're in that you feel like you need justice in. So however your situation is or whatever resonates for you, you could definitely use this herbal mixture for this. So there we go. That is my justice candle mixture. It is all mixed up, ready to go. Now for my oils, I will be anointing everyone's candle with rosemary oil, as well as my High John the Conqueror oil, which I make this oil myself. Um, so yeah, you can use a rosemary or High John oil. If you have dragon's blood oil, that would be really good as well. Or if you just have some type of oil that's like good for justice or legal situations or just any type of justice situation, um, I don't have any like specific oil like that on me. So rosemary would be good. Hi John, the conqueror oil would be good. Licorice root oil would be good. Crown of success oil would be really good for this type of work too. So I'm going to go ahead and anoint everyone's candles starting with the rosemary oil. Now for candles, when doing justice work, you can use brown candles. You can use blue candles. I've even done, um, what is that? Oh, the blue and the red candles. I've done blue and red together. Um, but that was for a very specific case. So, but yeah, I mainly use blue candles for justice, but you could use brown. Um, I don't normally buy brown colored candles, but if you have a brown colored candles or if you can find them, 
Um, I know at my shops I don't see them too often, but if you have brown candles, um, definitely you could use brown or blue. Um, remember that you can also use white for any substitute color. Sorry guys, I don't even know if you guys can see me doing this. All right, now I'm working on this tray over here in the back. Hang on. I want you guys to be able to see everything. But yeah, white candle can be a substitute for any color. So if you don't have brown, if you don't have blue, you definitely use white candles. White as a substitute for any color that you cannot get or find. All right, so everybody's candle is pretty much drenched with rosemary oil. And next I will be using the High John the Conqueror oil as well on everyone's candles. gonna move over here to this tray yeah apologies my nails are like really messed up right now because we've been building furniture if you guys haven't noticed yet we have a new group ritual table and we've been um, building furniture for the past two days so my nails are like uh but so excuse that but I know some of you don't care <laughs> But I always feel like I have to say that. So we have the oils anointed on everything. We have the double shoestring. Next, we are going to use this herbal mixture onto the candles. So I just realized I have two candle holders over here. <laughs> I didn't put those up. Those are for extras, in, just in case. All right. So I'm just going to sprinkle. I'm almost done sprinkling all of the Justice mixture. All right. All right, that's all of the mixture. I will also be using a dragon's blood incense for this justice group ritual.
this row it is candle candle 15 candle 16 candle 16 actually lit before candle 15 it was ready to go 